Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to Fallout 4. So we left off last episode. Uh, we just come out of Fort Hagen after blowing the shit out of uh, Kellogg. Not in that way, but whatever. And now I believe we have to go talk to Piper. Yes. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go back to Diamond City. Piper! Hello, my dear. Hello? Piper! Well, well. Oh. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Okay, but well, what are we going to say? Kellogg. Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What? Um. Right. Sure. <laughs> what? The f what? What's going on here? Piper. Piper. Are you broken? Okay, Piper, are you going to finish your sentence now? Come on. Let's hear the whole story. Okay, let's try saying something else. Uh, I didn't make it in time. I, I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them Sean. He's lost them all over. The Institute. Oh, boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. Yeah, you said that. The Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Sometimes leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. A man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that... The fuck are those facial animations, man? Why so much teeth? Because he's in hell. Where he belongs. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutine? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. We live the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? 
We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with us? I have to go to the memory den either way. But I'm going to introduce you to Amari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Let's bring both of them. Fuck it. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Hey, you're not supposed to leave me. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to her. Fuck's sake. We well, head back to the office next chance we get. No. Well, we got Piper, so. Okay, let's go. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home. A home for you, maybe. Okay, something that kind of bothers me about this game, uh, you may have noticed it just then, uh, but I wasn't speaking much during the whole, like, talking. You're too stupid to understand respect. Well, fuck you! But. I wasn't speaking much during the whole, like, talking interactions and stuff. And that's because of the whole, um, voiced character thing. Uh, what they did in Fallout 4, compared to the previous, uh, games, was they added a voiced character as the main protagonist, the okay. character that you play as. And I feel like that kind of takes away a lot from the whole role-playing element of the game, because I think... You know, you're supposed to be role-playing it. You're supposed to be playing your own character. I think it doesn't really make much sense. And it kind of takes away from the whole role-playing uh, aspect of the game. When your character is spoken for. You know, I I, pr I much preferred it, um, you know, in the older games, having a silent protagonist. And you could just... You could speak as your own, your own character and not have it voiced by some some guy and I'm not the only one that thinks this as well there's a lot of people um, in the Fallout community that kind of f feel the same way that was a laser pistol should we kill the raiders what the fuck are the raiders are oh, they in here gotcha He's running! The little pussy's running! <laughs> I got you now, bitch! Okay, let's continue our journey. Bro, what is it with the light adaptation, man? It's crazy right now. Huh? Oh, shit! Okay, let's go around. Let's approach him from this end. Fuck me. Nice. Fuck! Bro, the coughing is too much, man. You and me, we're going another game. Ow! I don't appreciate Molotovs. Okay, got him. Nice one, dog meat. Gotta love a bit of teamwork. Huh. Oh shit, he had a crossbow. Oh nice. A crude blowback. Sweet. Which one had the bozo mask? The bozo. What? God damn it! Oh man, I have to redo that whole thing. Oh, damn it. Okay, uh, let's approach this a little differently. Fuck you, bozo! Okay, 
Reloading. Nope, you're doing that. There's one down. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. We got the loot we had last time. Shut the fuck up! Oh, there's another way. I completely missed that entrance. Ah, yes. Good neighbor. Lovely. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Nah. <sighs> time for the really unfun part. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... A prawn. That's the hippocampus. No, it's a cyber. It's a start. A neural interface. It's a cybernetically enhanced prawn. How the fuck do you lock memories? How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. We could piss off Reddit. They'd be able to find the password and our addresses. Uh, I wish I wasn't doing a let's play so I could just like skip this with commands. Yay, they're really for what? Oh fuck's sake! Not even memories are safe from messages, man. Oh, there's another one. Turn left to see erotic memories. Oh. Bro, the synths are so cool, man. Could they at least fix their bonked ass grills? It's just cruel. I mean, this one. This guy's messed up. See, this guy's got perfect teeth, man. He's got a perfect set of, uh, set of pegs. But, like... This guy? Yeah, this guy may need some work. Um, and this guy? How does it acknowledge me in a memory? I, I don't know, man. Okay, so there's a message on that desk um, saying that you can tell if they hand animated uh, the folder passing animation. So I want to see if that's true. Jesus, this is the most uninteresting quest in... All of four. Oh, here we go. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Left? Hello. As in, he's gone rogue. Names: Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the growing sea. Here's his file. Well, <laughs> you can. Oh man, I love how the weapons appear on my back. That's so cool. Nick, hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. Ah, <laughs> he's a psycho. Okay, so the glowing sea, loads of radiation. How the fuck are we going to get around? How many fusion cores we got? Ah. Two. Ooh, Raider. Nice. Okay, I think we're going to go back to our settlement. But, along the way, uh, we're going to go grab my power armor. My power armor is here, because I ditched it on the way. Oh, the fusion cores look a, di a bit different. Okay, so we've just about arrived at the edge of the glowing sea. Uh, however, we've run into this cabin in the middle of a gold infested lake with four protectrons, which I think would help us a lot. So we're going to go grab them, hopefully. Uh, never mind, I'm pretty... I. Seem to have completely forgotten I don't have the robotics expert Why perk. Yeah, never mind. Um, I don't have the ability to hack Protectrons, so I guess we've just freed them for no reason. Law and order to the pond, I guess. Ooh. Oh! 
No, 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 no. That's not not exactly what I wanted to to see. What the? F Get the. F what the? F okay. Okay, this has gotten fucked up. I'm not liking this. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking eight-legged shits. Oh, boy. Edge of the glowing sea. Ah, tree popping. Nice. Welcome to hell, guys. You can already see the weather changing. Holy shit. Whoa. Holy shit, the weather effects are amazing. I don't know whether or not this is, like, the vanilla effect, or if this is, um, NACX doing its magic, but holy shit, this place is nice. That is a great screenshot. God damn, this place is beautiful. I mean, in a really fucked up way, but beauty and destruction, I think. Yeah. Is that a floating car? It is. I love this game. I can't see a thing. I can't actually see where my gun is aiming. But hey, Piper, I'm going to I'm going to need you to aim for me. The firestorm's actually calmed down now, which is good. 2 seconds later. It's getting worse, man. What the f That's new. Are we playing Minecraft now? What the fuck is going on? I'm hoping the death claws just died from this from this weather. That's not a fucking death claw. What the fucking shit is that? That's a fucking weather go. That's even worse. There, yeah, blow his fucking face off with laser. Fuck yeah. Okay. I know you're from the institute. I'm not. Uh, Kellogg's kind of six feet under, man. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead. He's dead. Don't you lie to me. I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? True story. With a nuke. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you, you <laughs> killed him, eh? Yep. And what do you want with me? I know you were part of it, and you escaped. They sent Kellogg to kill you. How the hell do you know any of that? No. The really boring matter. part of the game. I'm not going back. <laughs> I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? Joking. You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? Would you believe that the Institute kidnapped my son? Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. Fine, what is it? What do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab, and, well, look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? All right, say less. You help me, and I'll help you. All right. All right. Let's talk details. First things first. 
you know how synths get in and out of the institute? Uh, yes, teleport. Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well, not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? Uh, no. No, never heard of it. Another secret of the Institute. Trust me. It's good that you haven't found out the hard way. Coursers are institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Sounds easy. Fucking where? Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well. I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now... The relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Well, thank you. Oh my god, I leveled up! Okay, we've got two level up points. So, what are we going to spend it on? I'm thinking. I've been thinking. So, the next mission that we're going to play in the next episode, because yes, this is the end of the episode. The next mission involves getting shot at repeatedly by a lot of people. So I was thinking, we're going to go with toughness for that extra 20 damage resistance. And I think we're going to go with rifleman. Or commando. The only difference be between the two is one's non-automatic and one is. So, it's really between these two. But I think I'm going to go with Rifleman. Because I see myself using the lever action rifle. Which I have plenty of ammo for. This one right here. Not that one. This one. I have plenty of ammo for it. It's a very reliable weapon. Sorry, Piper. But anyway, uh, we're going to end the episode here, because quite honestly, I don't fancy doing an outro um, out there in the middle of a firestorm. Okay, I'm just going to take... Could you... Could you... Can I go in first person, please? Can I... Can I go in first person? Can I go in... Okay, there we go. Right, we're going to take these away as well. So, here we are. This is the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you're new here, 
uh, consider subscribing. I was looking at my analytics uh, last night, and it turns out, fuck all of you are subscribed, which um, kind of hurt my feelings. So uh, change that, please. Uh, just joking. You don't have to. But I wouldn't be opposed to it. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, again, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next episode.